Hi friends, this is Linda and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I can't believe it's almost December, but I am ready to share with you guys my foundation pages going into December. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So if you guys didn't see, I had a full feature over on the Allie Edwards blog in September where I started my album. I did some initial setup. I have my calendar here, which I use to help plan out my month. And this was a free printable over on the Allie Edwards blog. So if you didn't see that entire feature, I will link that down below in the description box and you can grab that free download. For my album, I am using the six by eight green floral from Allie Edwards. And I don't know if it's because it's a green album or just what I was feeling this year, but I'm going with a lot of green. I believe all of the project products I'm using or almost all of the products I'm using are from Allie Edwards. And that is partially because I got the entire collection this year from Allie Edwards. Um, but I also have a lot of products in my stash, some from Alliators from previous years, some from other companies, so I might mix in some things here and there. In setting up my foundation pages, I tend to take a pretty loose approach where I don't really have a ton of like completed pages because I like that flexibility in the month. That said, I did do a lot in here this year, partially because I have so many products and there were so many things that I really, really, really wanted to use. And by putting it in my album, I won't forget to use it. So let's go ahead and dive in and I will talk you through as we go. So this was already set up on the blog. I had a process video and everything. So if you are interested in that, I would suggest going to check that out. And like I said, everything is linked down in the description below. Over here, I used one of the pockets from the main kit, and I love these pockets, and I loved all the words joy, so I'm trying to bring a lot of that into my album this year. I adhered this on here to hold my reason why, and I have this shared on my Instagram and on the blog, but I will just read it to you guys quickly. My reason why. This is going to be my first holiday season as an empty nester, and I'm still in awe of that I am here. This holiday season will look so different from the ones that came before, but one thing that has been consistent for me for over a decade is documenting my December with December Daily. This project is more than just a collection of my memories. The act of creating this project has become one of my most cherished holiday traditions. Through this project, I have connected with an amazing community. I have found ways to celebrate the small joys in my life, and I have so much crafty fun. So I'm grateful to this project for being there through law school, marriage, parenting, divorce, work, moving, and so much more. I am grateful to this project for being here for this new chapter and for whatever comes next. Bring on the holiday memories. So I have that slipped in here. I didn't put anything on the back. I could see potentially putting a photo on there if I have some extra photos I want to include. But for now, I'm just leaving it like that. For my title page, I created this double layered shaker pocket. It's got some stars in it and some gold like shimmer. I'm sorry, it sounds like there's like a helicopter outside. Hopefully that's not too distracting. Um, but it's a shaker pocket that is pretty solid. You can kind of see through it, but I have this gold shimmery stuff in here that I got from Michaels. And then some of these stars from the main kit. So I did use red or not the main kit, they were one of the add-ons. I use the, this red here, but a lot of my album you'll see is green. And I, I don't really have a color scheme for the album, but it's just kind of what I went with. So for the back of that, I just have another wreath on here and I probably won't add anything on here. When I was initially making this, I considered putting my reason why on here, which is why I used this grid paper because I thought it would be really great for writing, but I ended up moving and doing it over here. So. I think I'm gonna leave it blank. Moving into day one, I created this page and I tend to not put numbers on most of my foundation pages because things shift around. But for day one, obviously I, that's the start of the album. So it's easy to put a number down. My thought is that I wanted to use this just kind of as a decorative landing place. 
and then it will flip over and have a full spread with this here and another full page. Partially because I want to set it up for day two, having the back of a full page. Um, partially because at the beginning of the month, I tend to have a lot of drive and excitement to work on this project. And I also have put my work schedule on here. Um, and that way I know which days I have more time to work on this project. I specifically took all of the Fridays off in December, partially so that I could have a slower pace for the season and partially so I could have some additional time to work on this project. So I am very excited for that, but that means that Friday through Sunday, I have a lot more time to work on this project than Monday through Thursday when I am working. And I am typically in the office Tuesday and Wednesday and even some Thursdays, I didn't actually put my telecommuting schedule on here yet, but I probably will. But on those office days, I tend to not even go into my craft room at all because by the time I get home, I'm usually pretty exhausted. So I'm just keeping that in mind in planning out my days. But of course, whatever happens that day will kind of dictate the story. That said, when it's like Tuesday the 12th, I can tell you I'm probably going to work from seven to five and that will be it. Um, so there's not real, there's probably not going to be an exciting story from that day and it will be one of my filler stories. So moving on from day one, day two, I put this pocket in here just to hold this as a placeholder. I'm not intending to use this divided page protector, but I will probably use this joy. So for day two, my daughter and I are going on like a shopping little day trip to a town near here. We're going to do some antiquing. We're going to go uh, out and get coffee and just a bunch of little fun things. So I'm expecting to have some longer journaling and a lot of photos. So I wanted to do a full page spread, which is why I'm thinking the back of page one and then a full page here. And I will include this word joy in there somehow. At least that's my initial thought. I might end up not using that here and then I will save it for the, another page. The back of that would probably be day three. Then for day four, I put a transparency in here. So something you'll notice is I like to have different sizes of pages. So I liked putting like this small page in between this full page and what will be a full page. And that's just something I try to keep in mind as I'm laying things out. For day four, I'm thinking I might build it right on top of this transparency. I put this tag here as a little tag pocket. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but that is a work day, so it'll probably be a simpler page, and we'll see. For day five, this is a foundation page that I made back in September, and what I'm going to do is adhere this five right here um, as like a tab, but I didn't want to do it yet so that when I can take it off, this will be flat but this is a flip out where I can do five things I'm loving and I'll probably do some longer journaling or some photos. I'm not entirely sure how we'll do this yet, but I think it's gonna be super fun. I didn't adhere anything to the back, but I put a page in here that I want to go on the back. And if I don't end up adhering it to there, if I end up putting something else, I will use this elsewhere, but I wanted to put it in here just to make sure I am remembering to use it. And it's just going to be kind of like a resting place. I have so many products that I want to use that I do like to have these kind of resting places in this album to kind of highlight the products. For me, December Daily is a lot about just using the fun and pretty things. So I really like um, just including those blank spots in this album. And so that's what this is. Now, I know it's a risk to punch these holes because say I decide to put something else here and I want this on the other side. I can't. I could technically cover it with washi, but for me, I think that having those constraints makes the project a little fun. So I did wanna do a divided page protector at some point. So I put this in here for days six and seven. Those are some office work days and I have some cards in here that I want to use and I might not use them on those specific spots, but it was just kind of rem a reminder to myself that I have these products. Day eight, so again, I'm using a pocket here just to hold some products that will probably be built on a page outside the page protector. On day eight, I have plans with a friend to go get coffee, um, so I will probably document that. I have this December people and places and things tag, which I thought would be super cute um, and make sense for the story. I might do like a layered cluster with this eight. 
I have this that I wanted to cut out at some point. I'm not sure I will use it on this one. And then I have this one that says, let the holiday festivities commence, which I think will also be a cute one to cut out. I don't know that I will use these all on this page, but I put them in here as a reminder to myself that I have them. They are some of the products that I really love this year and I want to try to use them. On the back, I have this tag that I made as a foundation page as part of my, um, my setup in September. And I guess I can pull it out for you guys. It's just loosely attached right now with this um, fabric or this yarn. But my thought is this is gonna be a hanging tag on the back and I'll probably do like a full page photo and put this here. I don't know yet what that story is gonna be, but I'm thinking that will be day nine. And then I will have this one in here, most likely just against that as a kind of a resting place and to kind of coordinate with the golds. Day 10 will be something in here. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's the spot I kind of have an idea for it or a place for it. Day 11 will be this around the house tag. I put a question mark because I might move things around. Um, days might shift. We'll see. But again, this is a day that I'm working, so it's a good kind of filler tag. And my thought is that I will put like a few things around the house. Maybe I will have the back of day 10 be with it, or maybe 10 will take up a full page, or I'll have a resting place, unsure. Moving on to here, so that would be 11. This would be day 12, which is gonna be a busy work day. And I'm assuming nothing's really going to be happening that day. So it's a perfect spot to do these ING words. I really, really liked this tag set that came in the die cut set. Um, but I didn't love that all of the tags were punched on the left hand side. Because I don't want that many tags in my album. But if I adhere them back to back, then I can use two of them. The problem was this one had holes already punched. So I added this washi tape, which I have right here. This is from Rifle Paper Co which is so cute. This is a little Christmas set I picked up and I adhered it right here and it's just, I love it. And this will be a super simple page just to fill these in. I'm not sure yet if I'll just do handwriting or what I'll do, but that's kind of my idea for day 12. Day 13 is the day my daughter comes home from college. I put this, uh, I wanted to adhere this onto a transparency. So I liked the way that this looked. I might use this for day 13. I might not, as I said, like I do have some flexibility. That's why there's no numbers on them. But I think this could be a good one to add some journaling in here about like the move out process and her coming home. And then the back, maybe a photo and I could put the number on here. There were holes punched in these and I didn't want to just put it in the rings. So I added these um, brads here to kind of adhere it to the transparency. And that also um, covered those holes. On the back, I'll probably adhere something. So that was 13. So this will probably be 14. It might be paired with this. This was another foundation page I created during September where I have one of these for me, my daughter, and my cat, where I can you can open these up and I will probably put some journaling or photos about what we are doing each on that day. So I'm thinking I wanted this after my daughter came home. On the back for day 15, I have a few products here that I really liked. I wanted to kind of put on a large full photo. I was thinking I would cut this out and stitch it down on top of a photo. I also had this one for some journaling. I may or may not use those, but I liked putting them here as a reminder that I had these products, so I might be able to use them. This right here, I just wanted to put it in, and again, using that word joy. Anytime joy kind of showed up, I really wanted to include it. Um, so then 16 will probably be like a page here. Not sure what will be on it. 17 is a full page spread of tags. So my plan, I had set that one up in September also where I put all of these tags in this um, Ziploc and I'm gonna make that, but I didn't wanna create it yet until I had my story. So Sunday the 17th is a day that I am home. I will probably have some crafty time. So I feel like that would be a perfect day for that story. Also 16, which would be the back, would be my baking cookies story. Then I created this foundation page, which is new. And I really love this. I had a lot of fun just adhering some stars and things on here. I left four empty circles to put maybe a number 
and maybe some photos or some words. And then I'm thinking, because this is probably day 18, that I'll probably pair it with this. I do want to include this in here, and I'm thinking I want to put like a photo of the gifts under a lit up tree, which they will all probably be under the tree by the 18th, um, because my daughter is old enough, like we don't have any little kids around here, so there's no like Santa comes on Christmas morning. Instead, the gifts kind of sit under the tree as I wrap them. And I really, last year I didn't get a great photo of my tree lit up with gifts under it, so I wanted to make a note to myself to do that. And I think this would be a perfect place for it. On the back, I have this tag shape, and then I had this divided page protector with some of these plastic tags. And I'm thinking that this will be day 19. I don't know what the story will be yet. Day 20 will likely be the back. I have a hearing for work on the 20th. I tend to do a story about work every year. So that will probably be that, not sure. And then I have a little bit more flexibility here. I don't have anything for 21. Um, for 22, I'm thinking that will probably be the back of this vellum. I'm thinking I might put a full photo with this heart on it. I just wanted to remind myself that I have these hearts and to use them. It also could include some other page. I'm not sure. This I put as maybe 23, which would be for my music. I'm thinking I want to do a shaker pocket behind this on one side or not. I'm not sure if I do both, but this vellum piece was a 10 by 8 vellum. It's super gorgeous, but it didn't look great cut down. So what I decided was just to cut it in half. So it's kind of like a full page spread. And then I th figured I could put this transparency in the middle. I put this Fala La, which matches really well. And I think I'll adhere that to the edge here as like a tab and maybe document my holiday playlist on here. Then moving into Christmas Eve, which will probably be the back of this. Again, like I'm not sure if I'm gonna line this with like white paper or if I will put like a shaker pocket or I might just leave it as plain vellum and not put anything in the back. I don't know yet. But for Christmas Eve, let's see, I put this in here and to all a good night. I really like using that sentiment on Christmas Eve. So I will probably use this somehow. Maybe I might punch it and just put it in the rings. I might put it, put it on my page. I don't know what my Christmas Eve page is gonna look like yet. But I also found that there's this large gather vellum, which I should have left out to show you guys, but it is a 10 by eight vellum. I didn't want to cut it down because I don't know what I want to do with it yet. And it is 10 by eight. I don't want to fold it or anything to put it in here. So I just made a note to myself on this sticky note that I want to use that vellum. Then moving to Christmas day, I put a few things in here I want to use. This says Christmas. This also said Christmas. It's like a vellum piece. And then there was this, this tag pocket that says 2023. Obviously I need to use this or I won't be able to. Worst case, I think I could put it right here and just like add something small into it. So I have those. I don't really have a plan for Christmas and Christmas Eve because that will pretty much just be, this was our celebration and some photos from it, but I wanna kind of design that page based on my photos and stories. These other pages, I think it's fun to have a foundation because I don't know the story yet. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else, but I really love just having this base space to remind me of what to use. And so it's not like a huge blank slate each day, but instead a little bit of a starting place, but enough flexibility that if something happens unexpected, I can move things around. Other than day five and day one, and then I suppose Christmas day, I don't really have numbers on any days. So things can move pretty much. Like I do have like numbers in the pocket, but I can take that out. I can switch it out for a different number. Totally fine. Um, one story I know I always want to tell is the first snow. Where I live, we tend to get our first snow in December. So I do want to tell that story, but I don't know yet what day it's gonna be. So I will have to adjust for that. I also had added quite a few things on here. Some were um, more than I had before. Um, I wanna tell a story about my holiday mugs. I've really caught into a mug obsession this year. And I have a lot of mugs that I didn't have last year. I started a new tree decoration collection. And so these are stories that have already happened 
now this November. So it's not even December yet, but I'm starting to do some holiday things. I'm building my daughter an advent calendar, and that is something that I will share with her. I am counting on her not watching this video so she doesn't get any spoilers, um, but she will find that out soon enough. And so I wanna tell that story. Um, I'm putting lights on the exterior of my house. I wanna tell that story. I purchased some pretty wrapping paper. I always tell that story. And, you know, so I just have some different ideas for things that I really wanna tell. Um, but I will flesh this out more as the month goes on. I also wanted to share that I plan to do process videos for my December daily this year and share them here. They will not be every day because I do have a full-time job and this comes after that um, or around that, but I will do my best to share them as I can and that will likely throw off some of my other sharing. So I do plan to still share some project life, but it will probably slow a bit in December. Um, I have some other things planned for you guys, but as far as December daily goes, I do also have plans to share some more inspirational ideas before the month of December, so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you got some ideas for your foundation pages or for your album in December. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye.